Welcome to the wonderful world of Terrors, famous for its excitement, adventure, and relaxation. Come and take a moment to visit our famous towns and attractions. Holtberg, enter the local dungeon to start your adventures. Then visit the Mud Tunnels for an adventure to call your minds to seek the Baron's Amulet of Life Giving. Oh, just have a drink in town and tip a cow. Next, you can try the famous Glendon Wood Run. Reenact the frightening battle of the first adventurers as they sought to push through into the Glendon Wood, past fearsome beasts more powerful than themselves. And you make it. Once there, the Glendon Wood Dungeon is open to all to find that special piece of loot to fund their endeavors further. Ellen. A bustling hub of commerce and travel. Famously destroyed by a shadow spire during the atonement, the citizens were forced to set up shop in the now abandoned mine. Lower levels were found to house handy portals to other Dereth locations. The subway, as it became known, provided a central hub for all adventurers brave enough to negotiate its final drop. Oh! Armors to weapons to jack-o'-lanterns and even shrubberies were available. You may even have been lucky enough to see quite a few old fragments, or even globes of Aubrey, jealously guarded by their retainer. What am I? The Moss Eisley of Dareth, this rambunctious town, brought all manner of adventurers to its doors, each seeking the riches of the Gorgian Citadel and the mountain ranges beyond. Most, however, only came back with iron flagons, which the locals were happy to fill. Others came back with riches of Matico robes and the components to assemble the fierce and composite bow. Some hunters would use the local rocks to hide their wares. Some say there are still undiscovered caches yet to be found. Can you find any? Heavy Anto provides the perfect coastline stopover with its beaches and gardens and Archmage Tower. Alternatively, visit famous Master Archmage Kenju's Tower outside Mayoi, whose nearby mines of despair housed focus stones so greatly sought after by all inhabitants. Beware of the drudges, though. What's more suspicious as those found in the Pyreal repositories? They still provide a challenge to those just starting out. Dareth, however, is also known for its desert towns such as Zyka. Many a traveler would do well visiting the moss chambers and the halls of the helm. Oswald's dagger is also rumored to still be found in the vicinity should you wish to try your luck. Also, be sure to stop by the town of Zarabite to see the Arcanum headquarters whose scholars actually dug beneath the desert to research the valuable Imperian archives. For attractions more off the beaten path, we can suggest visiting Martin's retreat to Grithwick, the Obsidian Span Bridge, and the Barbed Littlethorpe, whose fourth cellar hides the dagger of Tecola. Stonehold and its surrounding mountains, whilst on the coast and threat of handling, was the stopping point for many a wandering adventurer trying to get their hands on the dark sorcerer's phylactery or a personal sword. Be warned though, if you come across a white buddy, please do not approach. The western part of Gareth provides great vistas of desolate beauty. From the dire lands and its central crater and walled portals to the term rocks of Fort Tethyn. Of course, there's the town of Eilbacar. This devilishly hard to reach town was an oasis of civilization for adventurer and for India alike, who were seeking the rewards of the boss of Mitos or wishing to conquer the fiery Mount Leth. Not forgetting, of course, the infamous Valley of Death, whose gigantic creatures dragged many a wandering soul to oblivion <laughs> and beyond. To leave the mainland, you may venture to the many islands, Mary Lassell and its plateau, the dreaded Singularity Coral Island, and just a t-shirt from Erlin after visiting its famous Tenkaran crater, on shores below. Or 
maybe visit the Faseyan Isles with its jungle cathedral, home of the healer's arms and fierce enchantments. For dogs with a stronger constitution, Aldrin's Island is open for visitation, where the drunken master Aldrin the Unpleasant can impart many a story and insult whilst waving his casting star. A replica of which is purchased by the gift shop, along with every traveler's number one item, a clean right hand. For a rest and light relief, try a visit to Sanabar. It's penguin then and humorously then. Boys Tunnel are frequently enjoyed by tourists. No tour of Dareth, however, would be complete without visiting the infamous Tusker Island, Aphus Slasser. The beautiful landscape, refreshing umbrella drinks, and the local t shirts of Ulu Tanga's refuge belie the dangers of the many Tusker rules waiting to trap any lost traveler not previously prepared for the black spawn bed of the lake. Of all the creatures of death, however, none is more iconic than the old one. Once invaders, these insectoid entities of death ran rampant over the land, digging into the very flesh of horror. With their queen defeated, however, they were given back, but can still be visited in the many horde nests, brood hives, and catacombs dotted around the landscape. Oh where the hunters of Dereth have now learned to craft armors and weapons from the very bodies of the enemy themselves. Bug spray, however, is still recommended. And finally, full tour of the famous Crater Lake, where Asheron called for Dereth's citizens to obtain his father's animals. The population answered his melting black bolts for many months in order to then traverse the crater to forge these fearsome weapons. The hard times they had come, as Beelzeron's grip seeped over the land, turning the rain to blood. <coughs> we hope you enjoyed your visit to our wonderful world of Dareth and find many more of the secrets it contained as it now fades into history and myth. On your way, please stop by the tranquil and majestic Asheron's Island where you can bring Asheron himself and hear tales of all the tenacious adventurer heroically answered his call. Warning! Warning! Portal storm imminent. Seek shelter.